What's going on, YouTube? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances and fashion on this channel, so if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon as well to get notified when I upload new content on the channel. Guys, on today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 fragrances in my collection that are perfect 10 out of 10. And the thing about this list is, the catch, these are inexpensive or cheap fragrances, however you want to say it. Cheap, inexpensive, doesn't cost a whole lot of money, however you want to say it. This is the list right here. Now, whoever told you that cheap fragrances or inexpensive fragrances could not be 10 out of 10 fragrances, then I just want to be the first to inform you they lied. Now, I don't know if anybody's actually ever said that to you or not. Nobody's ever said it to me. I'm just saying, if you heard it at some point in time in your life, they lied. Because based on this, and again, doing it on a little bit different scale, not you know expecting these to be like three or four hundred dollar quality type fragrances, but again, for the price that you're gonna pay, which the fragrances on this list are gonna fall between that $25 to $60 price point. So I consider that to be inexpensive. So on that scale, these fragrances to me will get a 10 out of 10, in my humble opinion. So these are 10 great ones for under $60. So if you want to see what made the list of 10 fragrances in my collection that get a perfect 10 out of 10 that are inexpensive or cheap, however you want to say it, then you know the routine. Let's check them out. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, so first up on the video today, this fragrance I have talked about before. When I first put my nose on this, I knew I had to have a bottle. This is from the house of Bulgari, and this is Bulgari Man in Black. Man in Black. This is a beautiful, boozy, rum-based fragrance, fragrance that has tobacco, tonka bean, and benzoin. It's spicy, it's boozy, it's masculine, and it is darn good for what you are going to pay for it. If I would say uh, look at this fragrance and use it for a certain occasion, this is perfect, the perfect inexpensive fragrance to wear for like a formal occasion, more dressed up. That's the vibes that this scent gives off to me. So again, if you like your fragrance, it's spicy, boozy, and a little bit masculine with a little bit of sweetness, this is one that you will probably really, really, really enjoy. Again, it's really, really well done for what you're going to pay for this fragrance. So again, it gets a 10 out of 10 in my book as an inexpensive fragrance because it's high quality for the price. It performs and it smells great. So check it out from the house of Bulgari. Again, this is called Man in Black. All right guys, the next fragrance on this list, this fragrance is definitely easily for a cheap, inexpensive fragrance, a top 10, 10, I'm sorry, 10 out of 10 for me, man. From the house of Bulgari, we're going back to back. This one is called Aqua Atlantique. And man, this is some good stuff right here for the spring and summertime. It's aquatic, but this fragrance is more than that. It has some character to it, man. When it dries down, you got some amber green in here. So you got that, you got that kind of warmness that comes from, from amber wood. You got some patchouli in here as well. Again, a, an aquatic fragrance with some character as it dries down. I love a beautiful apple accord in this fragrance that I really enjoy as well. But again, in the fashion of a Dylan Blue kind of scent, I actually like this one a little bit better than Dylan Blue, and I actually love that one as well. So guys, if you can, get your hands on this for the price. It's definitely a 10 out of 10 when you talk about the quality proposition for the price. So again, another one from Bulgari. This is Aqua Atlantique. All right, guys, the next fragrance on my list that gives a 10 out of 10 for an inexpensive fragrance from the house of Versace, this is Man Old Fresh. Man Old Fresh. Man, for the price, you can, really can't beat this for the summertime. One of my favorite summer fragrances of all time, this has that very infamous carambola or star fruit uh, note. Gives it a very unique uh, kind of freshness as you go with that fruity opening uh, of this scent. But I actually, I love this stuff, man. I just spray this stuff, you know, all over during the summertime. And I know that it is going to work. It's so easy to wear and it smells so good. Um, this fragrance is easy to find. I mean, pretty much any rack store across the country, you walk in there and this is one of the fragrances you'll probably see uh, sitting on the shelf. So it's very easily to access this fragrance. It's not expensive. And again, it smells fantastic. So 10 out of 10 in my book for inexpensive fragrances. This is Versace Mano Fresh. 
All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, I won't spend too much time on this one because it's been talked about a lot in this particular genre of fragrances, but from the house of Bentley, this is Bentley Intense for Men. Bentley Intense for Men. Now, it does not, this does not smell exactly like these fragrances, but at a much higher price point, if you like fragrances like uh, Grand Soir uh, from MFK, if you like fragrances like uh, YSL's um, Tuxedo, this is a nice fragrance on the low that you can get for about $35 that will kind of give you similar vibes. It's warm, really rich, buttery, and smooth, uh, kind of like those fragrances. It does have patchouli in here. There's some cinnamon. Of course, it's boozy. It has rum in here. Great for the price. So check it out. 10 out of 10 in my book. I know a lot of folks talk about this one in this particular category, but it would not be right if I did not put this one on the list. So from the house of Bentley, this is Bentley Intense for Men. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, classic fragrance, man. But again, you can find it for under 50 bucks and it's darn good. From the house of Versace again, this is called Versace the Dreamer. Versace the Dreamer. I remember uh, earlier in my fragrance journey, I really wanted to get this, uh, my hands on this so bad. It's really got a nice kind of soapy quality to it, but the star player in it, oddly enough, is a nice tobacco leaf. Now that's a little bit more uh, not like a, a rich kind of heavy tobacco is more uh, more light and kind of a powdery thing going on in here but it works really well because there's iris in here as well so it's kind of a clean soapy powdery tobacco fragrance and to me at the price point that you can get this for is really a steal so definitely inexpensive for what it is and it definitely deserves a 10 out of 10 in my book so check it out a classic fragrance in the fragrance world this is called Versace the Dreamer all right, guys, the next fragrance on my list that gets a 10 out of 10. This is a classic fragrance. It doesn't get a whole lot of talk. There's certain OGs that know about this fragrance, but for the price point, it definitely will fall into the inexpensive category, and it's definitely worthy of a 10 out of 10 in my book. This is called Jacques Faf Pour Homme. This fragrance was created in 1998. It just has a very interesting combination of notes. It's kind of rich and warm very very masculine fragrance it has raspberry some rose in here <sighs> i think there may be some patchouli in this as well um very very classic kind of fragrance maybe some amber it's definitely warm and rich if my memory serves me correctly on some of the notes i know it definitely has the raspberry and the rose in it which in the heart of it i really really uh, love that in this scent and again for what you're going to pay for it it's so well done, man. It's, it's got a kind of classic feel to it, but it's really, really nice. It's very, very high quality for what you're gonna pay, which again, this is in about that $30, $35 range as well. And like I said, not a lot of people talk about uh, this fragrance anymore. It could be because it was released in the year 1998. I don't know, but it is a good one. So check it out from the house of Jacques Foth Paris. This is Jacques Foth Pour Homme. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, that's a 10 out of 10. We're gonna move past this one really quickly, but it's a 10 out of 10. For 27 bucks, this thing right here absolutely rocks. And this is, of course, from the house of Armaf. This is Armaf Club de Nuit Intense for Man. Stuff is just good. It smells really, really close to Creed Aventus. This is one of the first uh, batches of this stuff that came out. I have a newer one that's not quite as good as this one. This one is even more close and performed a little bit better than the newer batch of this that I have. But man, this stuff is so good. It smells very close to the 17N01 batch, oddly enough, of Aventus that I have. You get a good, nice dose of the smoky birch and the pineapple or lemon um, in this scent. 10 out of 10, easy, man. From the house of our mob club, they know we intense for man. All right, guys, up on the list next, uh, one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Designer or niche, cheap, inexpensive, I don't care. You guys know I love Burberry Touch. And this definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Now, I don't care. Now, it seems to me if you go into rack stores nowadays, the selection of fragrances have been really, really dry. But regardless of the fact, this is one fragrance that you will always find in the rack stores. And man, this stuff is so good for what it is. Violet leaves is the main note uh, in this fragrance. And it's just a fantastic scent. It's a spicy fragrance, a spicy floral fragrance. And... It's just so good. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. One of my favorites, man. Burberry Touch is easily a 10 out of 10 fragrance and it's just crazy to me that you can find this fragrance wherever you go pretty much for under $35. So check it out, guys. 
from Burberry. Again, this is Burberry Touch. All right, the next fragrance on the list, another popular fragrance that gets a 10 out of 10 for me in the inexpensive category, and it's Mont Blanc Individuel. Smells a lot like one of my favorite creeds. You guys know Original Santal, how much I love that fragrance. And again, look, with the, with the way things go as far as pricing nowadays, uh, they said this one is discontinued, so I went on ahead and grabbed about four bottles of this, so I'll always have this in my collection. Uh, it hasn't really started, uh, I haven't really seen it really shoot up in prices yet, so I don't know, maybe it's not discontinued, I don't know. But if it is, I'm okay with having four bottles of this in my collection because I really, really, really enjoy this scent. I mean, it's really crazy to me that this thing is, is about 25 bucks. It really, really is, because to me, Mont Blanc, Bulgari, uh, two houses to me that really do fragrances well that are inexpensive and this is one of the best from Mont Blanc. One of my favorites, of course, you guys know what this is. It's been talked about a lot, but I still feel it deserves a 10 out of 10. This is Mont Blanc Individual. All right, guys, and the last fragrance on the list today, that's a 10 out of 10 in the inexpensive genre or category of fragrances from Mercedes Benz. This is Mercedes Benz Club Black. And simply put, this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. Beautiful vanilla scent. I actually picked up recently Vanilla Diorama from Dior. And once it all all the way comes to the to the far dry down, the vanilla on it on that scent kind of reminds me of this. Very similar dry down as far as the quality vanilla that's used in the fragrance. So this is beautiful, is rich, buttery, creamy vanilla fragrance. Check it out from the house of Mercedes Benz. Easily a 10 out of 10. This is Mercedes Benz Club Black. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this list today as I gave you 10 inexpensive fragrances in my collection that get a perfect 10 out of 10. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to this video because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but it took a few moments to watch, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because I'm your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.